Oh, hello YouTube. Today in the Naughty Librarian, I am doing a ripped bodice book haul. In case you were unaware, there is a store in Los Angeles called The Ripped Bodice, and it is America's only exclusively romance bookstore. You heard me right. They only sell romance. It is like my wonderland. Recently, they had their two year anniversary of being in business, so they threw a huge event, and basically the first 50 customers in the door got a swag bag of books and keychains and stickers and all kinds of goodies. So, you know, your girl was one of those first 50, just saying. Without further ado, let's do a little book haul from The Ripped Bodice slash a couple other books I bought the same day. First up, I have Beyond Control by Kat Martin. This is a romantic suspense and is about a woman who is on the run from an abusive ex with her daughter and then she winds up on this ranch with this guy, I think, who has PTSD from the army and then romance. <laughs> and I assume this like evil violent ex is going to show up at some point because it's romantic suspense. So. <laughs> Yeah, I'm kind of a sucker for those kind of stories, so I'm actually kind of interested in this. I have not read anything by Kat Martin before, so it's definitely a new author. Next up, I have A Wedding on Bluebird Way by Lori Wilde, Janet Daly, Allison Charles, and Stacey, Stacey Keith. <laughs> There's so many authors. This is about the day of a wedding at this B&B in a small Texas town, and like, multiple love stories that happen on the same day. So I guess different authors wrote different stories for it. So maybe it's just like short stories. I don't know. It sounds a bit, you know, cupcake for me. I, call <laughs> I should explain what that means. When I call a romance novel a cupcake, it's because I mean they are just sugar frosted. <laughs> like they're gonna be too sweet and with like not enough bite to them. So I'm thinking this is a big old cupcake of a book. Um, I don't necessarily mind cupcakes, but they're not like what I'm gonna go after like for my first choice. Next up I have Lone Rider by Lindsay McKenna and this is a cowboy book. <laughs> this is also a contemporary romance. It is about uh, a woman who was a war photographer and then this guy who was an army medic and they both meet up on this ranch that's run by like army guys with PTSD so they can like heal. And I guess they both go to this ranch and then they heal and like fall in love. <laughs> so funny story is that I was thinking just the other day, I never read cowboy books. Like <laughs> I know there's like a whole genre of romance just about like ranchers and cowboys and I don't read any of them. So it's just kind of serendipitous that this came into my life. So maybe I will try out a cowboy romance. Who knows? Maybe I will be like totally into it. Next up, I have Need to Know by Fern Michaels. Oh, Fern Michaels. That's like a Danielle Steele name. <laughs> so I read the blurb. This isn't even a romance. So Fern has betrayed me. <laughs> this is about this group of f girlfriends and like one of them, she had this like attorney who's supposed to manage her money, but then he like stole a bunch of it. And he's just like, well, I'm gonna sue you somehow and take all the rest of your money. And these girlfriends are like, no, uh and then they're like, they're gonna get him. Sounds like a cool idea, but it is not a romance, so I don't know why it is in my romance group of books. Next up, I have The Only Thing by Marie Hart. So when I saw the cover, I thought it was gonna be like, oh, he's like a boxer or something. You know, it was gonna be like an athlete romance, and it's not, it's a bad boy romance. It is about this woman who is like, I don't want to date anyone. And then her mom's like, you should date someone. And she's like, ugh. So she goes and gets this like rough and tough tattoo artist guy. And she kind of knows a thing. She's like, hey, be my fake boyfriend. Cause then my mom will see you with me and be so horrified. She won't force me to date anymore. <laughs> so sounds kind of like a cool premise. And you know, I'm assuming this like relationship turns into like love rather than just a fake relationship, obviously. Next up, I have Run to Ground by Katie Ruggle. You guys, there's a dog on the cover. I haven't really read a lot of romances that involve a dog, so I'm very excited. <laughs> this is about a cop who works in this like Rocky Mountain town and his partner is a dog. Yes, please. 
like when I heard that I'm like oh is this like a buddy comedy because <laughs> I'm like if he and his dog are buddies and it's a comedy about them like I'd already be in but it's not it's a romance it's this romantic suspense actually and it's about this cop with his dog and then this woman who like is in charge of all her siblings for some reason I guess if she's her guardian and like she's trying to raise them and then the dog likes her so he's like oh well, my dog likes you I like you too <laughs> The dog is a big part of this romance and I'm so excited. It does say it is romantic suspense, so I'm not sure where the suspense comes from, but all I know is that if that dog gets hurt, I will never forgive anyone. <laughs> Next up, I have Heart on Fire by Amanda Boucher. And this is a paranormal romance and it is the conclusion of the Kingmaker series. I had never heard of that series or read it, so now I have the end of it. <laughs> I guess I would need to go start at the beginning if I like wanted to get into this one. And like the blurb doesn't tell you literally anything about the book, <laughs> but it does have a little quote that says, give this to your Game of Thrones fans. So I guess it's Game of Thronesy. <laughs> I don't know, it's a woman on the cover. She has like armor and like a fiery sword. So I assume she's like fighting. <laughs> I don't know, it's some type of like fantasy magic romance. I don't really know much else about it. So uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I, I can only assume what this is about. Next up, I have No Earls Allowed by Shanna Galen. When I looked at it, it looks very like Cinderella-y and it's not actually, it's a Regency romance. So I read the first line of the blurb. I'm just gonna read it to you because it sounds awesome. It is a truth universally acknowledged that a lady can do anything a man can do and she can do it backward and in high heel dancing slippers. See what they did there? They made an amalgamated mesh of both Jane Austen and Ginger Rogers. Kind of down. That sounds awesome. It's about this daughter of an earl and like she runs an orphanage and this slumlord's this like, <laughs> That's the best way to describe like illicit advances. <laughs> Anyways, that's what that guy's like. And then she meets this other guy who's like the illegitimate son of a duke and she's like, oh, love. And then events. I don't really know what else happens besides that, but I'm kind of down for the Jane Austen, Ginger Rogers mashup of that quote. So that seems interesting, I'm intrigued. The last two books are not from the swag bag, but they are just from things I bought in the store because I'm, I'm not gonna not buy books at the store. First up, I have Heroin Worship by Sarah Kuhn. It is about a superhero and her personal assistant in the first book, and it turns out the personal assistant also has superpowers, so now they're both superheroes, and book two is a kind of about like, oh, now we're both superheroes, and she kind of has to like, the superhero, the original superhero has to like figure out like who she is now, now that she has like this assistant who's like probably a better superhero than her. So I don't know. It sounds like a really cool comedy series. I'm totally excited. So I have not read the first book, but now I have both of them because I just know I want to read it. So I buy books in advance, okay? Last up, I have Thrown by a Curve by J.C. Barton. This is another one of the books in the play by play series and I will say it's a little hit and miss a series for me because sometimes the books are like awesome and they're really funny and I love them and then sometimes the books are like ugh they're like kind of boring but I still want to read the series anyway. Full disclosure the main reason I still love the series even if the book isn't that good is because the smut is grade A. It is always good smut. So I have that to look forward to. This one in particular is about a baseball player who was injured so he has to have a sports therapist like help him recuperate. And it's like hot lady. I'm assuming there's going to be lots of sexually charged massages which I was kind of feeling at the moment. And also I mean have you seen the cover? Like he's like look at that <laughs> so maybe it's a cover by but like those are like abs for days like who would blame me and he's also kind of sweaty so it's like he's he's wet as well so don't judge me great a smut maybe not always the most complex story but like whatever i'm just here to read some porn 
cheers to the Ripped Bodice, one of my favorite bookstores in all of Los Angeles. Mm. If you are in the LA area, I definitely recommend checking them out. Me and Leah are wonderful people. They will totally help you find any book you're looking for. You can go in and say, I really want this book. I think it was red. They'd be like, I'll show you all the red books we have. <laughs> like, they're great ladies. They will help you find a new book that you've never heard of. They're just awesome. I highly recommend. Also, they have a dog named Fitzwilliam Waffles, and he is the most adorable little dog. <laughs> and he does come to the store. So if you want to meet like a cute dog named Fitzwilliam Waffles, this is your place. Let me know in the comments down below if you have read any of these books, which ones are your favorites, your least favorites, which ones are your most anticipated releases. I want to know what you think. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you want to see more videos, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!